Wright will be back to get this one started after this. Venerable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Postseason baseball singing, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound in this one, Robin Roberts. How about a report on him, Chris? Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. All right, ready to go here. And the batter will be the shortstop, Robin Yell. And the pitch. Splits the plate and a count one and two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. At him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes. As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. One out, base is empty. Got him looking, and there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Man at second here with two away. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Trout. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. The one two hammers that one curling down the line and foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there on its way. Gone. And they grab the lead. It's two nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the... Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped. Junior brings it in with a nice running grab. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. This is the American League Championship Series on the show.
stepping in, Barry Larkin. In the air, out to center. One up, one down. Check out the Red Sox lineup. And Chris, they're not lacking for guys that can hit the ball over the fence. And with that said, these guys have to be patient at the plate because the opposing pitchers are not just going to feed them fastballs down the middle. They're going to have to get deeper into counts and it sometimes take the walks. But when they get their pitches, they don't usually miss them. And that's what I'm expecting to see here in this one. Way inside, gets out of the way. And he walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Got him. Two down. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not giving it that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment, but that was about as hittable as knuckleballs could get, and he was frozen. This one in the air. Cepeda should have this one. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians. Hank Thompson. Kicks and fires. Fought off. Foul. The pressure is high for the players in the. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Dowry Moretta. Orlando Cepeda digs in for the Guardians. And here it comes. In safely with a leadoff double, go ahead runs in scoring position. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through. The middle of the field. Hank Thompson digging in now. Man at second. That one. And pulled foul. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Here at the top of the ninth. Now a drag bunt, third base side. 
Safe. He beats it. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. Digging in. Mini Minoso. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. To third. And got him. The tag and got him at second. Two outs, bases empty. One attempt, popped up. Jones snags it on the run. So no runs on two base hits. No errors and no one left on. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off. Back here at Fenway Park. At the batter now, Francisco Alvarez. Next offering is in for a strike. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this. A new arm into the game, the righty, Kevin Ginkle. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more. Uh oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Al Kaler. Runner takes off. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. One away. The winning run at second. That one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Uh-oh. Back-to-back batters hit by a pitch now. Down the third baseman, Chipper Jones. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. Squeezes it. Now battle. So first and second with two outs. And now Ken Griffey Jr. Lifted in the air right center field. And makes the play and that's out number three. Boston strands a pair. Still tied three and three. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, number 23. The pitch. Drops one down in front of the plate. He's oh, in he's there. there. What a play right there. Drop down just a beautiful ball and maybe caught the defense by surprise a little bit, but now the go-ahead run is on at first, and that could be huge. And a bunt back at the pitcher. And they take care of Carter for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Man, it's second. Rip to short. Larkin sends it to first. Two out. So in now for Cleveland, Larry Dolby. And the right-hander deals. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. And that's how they take the lead. It's 5-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Sam Bowl will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. No question about this one. It's out of here. A massive home run. It's 6-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. So two away with nobody on. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Oh, 
bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. And he picks it up and foul. Back now at Fenway, bottom of the inning. So stepping in for Boston, Ryan Howard. The 1 1 is fouled off. Swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Billy Williams will hit next. Fouls one off. Two and two. One down, base is empty. That one hit to right. And Thompson makes the play. Here now the Red Sox DH, Tony Perez. Miller is just one strike away. And the Cleveland Guardians are headed back to the World Series. Congratulations to the American League champions. These players have worked hard all season long, and their hard work has paid off. Now, off to the World Series. This team can't wait to get it started. From my partner, Chris Singleton, and our entire outstanding crew, thank you for watching the American League Championship Series on MLB The Show. One, one, one.